about 20 degrees. Whoops. Yeah. Well, I might have to put my lockers on. Usually just stay on the right side and uh, go right up it easy enough. I got over here and went a little bit down in here and uh, dropped off. So maybe 20 degrees. Welcome to another Red Beast Adventure. My name is Ray and I am on the Old Buzzard Roost Road and also known as the Goat Trail. First time uh, running this trail and so far I'm just uh, hopefully getting to some better uh, fun. This is like a pretty nice gravel road going down to, I guess, the first creek crossing. So looking forward to uh, checking this trail out and uh, see what it has to offer. I'm at the uh, first creek crossing at uh, the Goat Trail, and uh, it's really pretty shallow, of course, but uh, still a pretty awesome scenery and uh, definitely a nice creek to flow through here. Got a few rocks on the other side to climb up, but that should be pretty easy. But definitely a pretty, pretty nice location. All right, heading through the first creek crossing here. Definitely a somewhat narrow trail would be difficult for two vehicles to pass through right here for sure. But I think there's some spots around that uh, allow two vehicles to pass through. Looks like the uh, first kind of rutted out area, not too bad, a uh, little bit off camber. Nice little ruts up there to uh, go up the hill on. We're gonna go through that and have a little fun. about 20 degrees. Whoops. Yeah. Well, I might have to put my lockers on. Definitely a little slippery. So I got up into these ruts and I started to slip a little bit. Didn't have my lockers on, so I'm just put those on and then I'm sure I can get through here. But uh, yeah, I guess the uh, rain definitely makes it more fun. A little bit of water running through there. So yay, let's check it out. We're gonna try this again with the uh, lockers on. There's definitely a few rocks in here. Good thing I got my rock sliders. But yep, the uh, lockers make a huge difference. All right, now that's uh, around 22 degrees. Nice. That's pretty fun. Wow, who knew? All right, that's like 24 degrees. Here's another not so rutted out area, but a little bit. Definitely not as uh, slippery as the other one and not as deep a ruts. Well, here is a, uh, another obstacle. Uh, I've seen this one before on other videos and it's typically full of water. So although it rained uh, not too long ago, it was kind of surprising that there's absolutely almost no water in there except for a little bit on that side, probably still a little slippery. Well, this might be a little challenging without a spotter. I'm gonna to try to line myself up into this hole here with my cameras and uh, hopefully I can fit in that groove. I didn't measure it, but my truck is a little wider than some, so definitely wider than the Jeep. Oh, looks like I fit through there pretty good. Looks like I got it. Yeah, no problem. Well, just idle through there pretty much. Yep. Well, that might have been a little more challenging when it's wet or more wet, but uh, it's pretty dry there, so it was easy to get through. Looks like this is getting close to the end of the uh, old Buzzard Roost Road goat trail. So I might go see if I can find some more trails. Still got plenty of time today and uh, do some other fun stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna run a bonus trail, Hurricane Creek Trail, which I've run a couple of times already, and uh, have some fun on this trail. Now we're at the uh, first creek crossing on Hurricane Creek. 
It's got to fit through these two big rucks. Looks like I've got it. I've been here a few times, so it's a uh, definitely a fun trip. section to go up. Nice little obstacle. A nice big rock up there on the left side. Usually just stay on the right side and uh, go right up it easy enough. Creek crossing and the camp like the site on the other side on the left here and doesn't look like anybody's here probably could have camped here tonight but uh, you never know who's gonna be there little tight s curve here right by the uh, old bus here so definitely a little little tight turning here for the red beast but uh, I've done it a few times so it's uh, definitely not the widest here but that's the way it goes. You got a big truck, you got to go through spots that are a little small. Nice little drop off, uh, little mud hole to go through. Looks like this section of the uh, trail is getting a little dug out. I guess people are probably spinning trying to get up this hill. But uh, yeah, should be a little fun here for the beast. Should be no problem though. Been up this a few times, might uh, rub my slider a little bit. We'll find out. Nope, that was not too bad at all. There's another mud hole to go down, and it uh, looks like somebody cleared that uh, small tree that was across the top i guess they got tired of looking at it so hey don't have to worry about that being in the way anymore well this was interesting i was uh, trying to avoid this uh, tree limb over here on the left and um, got over here and went a little bit down in here and uh, dropped off so this is uh, not looking very stable here. So I'm going to see if I can uh, cut this uh, tree back a little bit and make more room for myself and for other folks. Well, that should work a little better. I just took that little extra limb piece off on the end and uh, I think that'll give us enough room to get through there. You definitely want to avoid that section because that will drop off and not good. Another fun section to fit through and uh, it's a fun little obstacle just got to make sure I can fit between the rock and the tree which I've done a couple times but <clears throat> I just have to watch the cameras and uh, make sure that I don't hit either one of them. I think here's the last uh, somewhat technical spot on uh, the trail that you got to climb over this rock and it's a little off camber and uh, don't want to go too far to the right or you'll be off sliding down the hill which would not be good so I don't want to do that so hopefully I can use my uh, surround cameras here to put me in the right spot about 20 degrees off camera. Here's some fun ditch section to go through and definitely get off camera in a couple spots. So it's always fun to go through some parts like this. Yeah. 
So maybe 20 degrees. A little sloppy right there. And about 22 degrees right there. wraps up the uh, latest Red Beast adventure. I started out at uh, the Goat Trail at Old Buzzard Roost Road and started at the bottom um, near the uh, dam there and drove uphill and came out onto normal Buzzard Roost Road and that took about an hour. So then I decided to do a bonus run to Hurricane Creek. I've been here a couple times so I decided to uh, have some more fun on some trails. So I went down the uh, East 40, took the Fines Creek exit, then looped back around on 240 to come back into the Hurricane Creek entrance. And now I'm airing back up and looking forward to the next adventure. I'm gonna head home from here.